Hello, everyone. It's me and Harry. Hey, guys, it's Harry here, and we are in Puerto Vallarta. Vallarta. And we've been eating lots of Mexican food here. But what we wanted to try for you today was well, hold that bag up McDonald's. And I'll say this we've had McDonald's one up or twice. I didn't want to admit that twice since we've been here, and it's been the best McDonald's ever. The patties are juicy. Um, the menu's a lot different. Um, I got I, I like, got a little bacon uh, barbecue double patty. I don't know the exact name. I think it's called on, the Signature Collection. Yeah, I let him order. See, look at my hair now. It looks nice. Popping. All right. There you go. So he got uh, something from the signature. Is this mine or yours? We're going to find out. I just told him to order whatever. Ours is kind of similar. Oh, this got bacon on it, looks like. Yeah, that's mine then. Which I don't eat bacon too much, but, you know, every now and then it doesn't hurt. Oh. That's got bacon on it, too. Spoiler, they all have bacon. <laughs> And then we've got uh, tocino. I don't know what that is. Tocino is also bacon. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know what. It's just like a double with bacon. Yeah. And then one thing I like is they have these uh, different sauces. So they have like a jalapeno sauce. Let's look at it. Which see we'll if see if Libby commits to trying it. We've got just the regular ketchup. And then these little cute little packets. Yeah, the back. Am I gonna try this? We don't know. We'll see. Which one do you want to try first? I mean, which one's mine? Any of them? Any of them. Here you go. And what do you eat the jalapeno on the burger? Uh, put, I would think so, or, or you could put it on the fries. Here, now, I'm gonna put this back here. Now, when you order a combo. It's called a McTrio, right? McTrio. And the other day I thought that was some kind of special burger. So I was like, I'm gonna get the McTrio. And but all it's it means not. is a combo, right? Tocino, tocino, tocino. There's a lot of tocino going on today. Does this even do we got the same exact burger? Oh, this has got something different on the top. Oh, that has a grilled onion. Oh no. What is that? It almost smells like a barbecue sauce or something. And it looks like it has like small pieces of onion, grilled onions or fried onions. Those are those are onions and they're good. Oh my god! Yeah, I'll show crap. them. I'll show them. Bacon this. down my shirt. And let me hold on. Let me see if they can see this. Let's get a nice shot. There we go. I like the white cheese. Here we go. It's Josh said, spoiler alert, they're all bad. Whoa, look at this! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that's dope. That kid had it going on. I know. With the little baby Kano in there. You know me, I love dogs. I got my dog right here. Two dogs, I love dogs. All right, ready? Ooh, this it tastes kind of like barbecue sauce. All right. All right. Take a bite. Mm. He said, "Take a bite." Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. That's good. I forgot to get napkins. Uh oh. It's cheesy, right? It's that barbecue sauce on there. I've never really had a burger with barbecue sauce on it. Because anytime time I see that, I'm like, mm. I like barbecue sauce. Never tried none burger though. For me, I'm not a big barbecue sauce type of guy. I don't know why. Like, I don't need it. Mmm. One thing I do, I will say, if on my end, they have these like cardboard straws. And to be honest, you probably can't tell, it looks like paper, but it changes the whole profile of the of your experience of drinking a soda. Not good. Like, why would you make cardboard straw? 
I don't think that's saving the earth They're anymore. saving the turtles. Oh, the turtles, turtles. Thanks. And Harold saw a, um, a turtle lay her eggs on the beach and then she got the hell out of town. 72 eggs. All right. I'm gonna take another bite of this. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. That was so good. The little kid sitting in the car with the dog and the bag mm -hmm. of chips. The fact that the dog wasn't trying to get out. Neither was the kid. The kid mm -hmm. was just eating her chips, driving on along, playing Dr. Dre. Mmm. <laughs> we got producer Josh Apple back there. Slash security. His job was to get the napkins and tell us that everything had bacon on it. What's been your favorite part of the trip so far? The ATV riding. Um, what else? The thing that highlighted is the ATV riding. Because I got to do it with my family and then she got to do it. So, mm -hmm. it was a great time. I hope I'm not screaming in it. There we go. ATV was highlight for me, too. Did you, did you freak out or panic at all? Be honest. I didn't panic. The only time I panicked was finding the right ATV for myself. I was doing my podcast and I was saying it was kind of like, um, <coughs> the, was it Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Where uh -huh. she, um, she went to the bear's house and, and like tested all their stuff out. That's how it was for me because I tried three different A to B's. Three? Mm -hmm. That was a lot. What was wrong with the first one? Too it small, was too right? big. It was too big and he, he said that it was hard to maneuver. And I said, sorry. I said, is it hard to maneuver when it's going? And he said, yeah. <clears throat> so the next one I tried was too small. Then the next one I tried um, was one of those cars and that was also uh, borderline small. And then the last one was just right. And that one was yours. She was, um, what do you call it when you pivot? Bur she was burning out. <laughs> and that thing was spinning, it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Producer Josh stole my sunglasses and he's wearing them right now. What's your least favorite part of the trip? Um my to... injury. <laughs> oh yeah. But that'll be a scar that I'll never forget. Oh, come me so. Yeah, the I wet. think they think we're filming him. That's why <laughs> they're, they stop. Mmm. Mmm. So, she's been waiting all day for McDonald's. Mm -hmm. So she hasn't eaten all day. Mm -mm. I ate earlier a little bit. Oops. I hope I'm not screaming in the microphone. I tend to um, speak a little too loud, especially when I get excited. excited. Recited. Before I finish this, should we test that other one, or is it just a double with? You know what? You don't want any fries? I do want my fries. There you go. The fries here are next level. Excuse me, producer Josh stole a fry. He's fired. <laughs> producer Josh. Mmm. You want to put some jalapeno sauce on this? You're right. Um, All right. It's very noisy down here. We're on a place called is this the Malecon. Is this considered the Malecon? It's kind of like a strip. So think of like Vegas, a strip. You can walk up and down. You can't drive here in the middle, and there's stores and restaurants and, and nightclubs and bars and people. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a Tuesday night, and this place is busting. Little kids and uh, I mean. Uh, 
on a, on a little scooter with her dog. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna try. Every time I've been down here, it's been lit. There's never been a time. Well, last time we came down, it was like 1 a.m., wasn't it? And some of these nightclubs don't close till six in the morning. Six in the morning. That means you can party all night. Is it hot? We went to a, what kind of club was it last night? A Banda. Banda nightclub. What does that mean? We're trying this. <laughs> to me, it's not spicy, but. Can I get enough on there? There. Right there. What does the club mean that we went to? Banda's a genre of, of Mexican music? music, yeah. So the tuba. The tuba. How's that? Mm. Ah! Ah! That's hot. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put some more in my fries. Damn. Not a fan. <laughs> but we already knew that before I even ate it. Yeah, bomb that was it was a lot of fun. Mm. I was people dancing, people drinking, people grinding. Grinding. I decided I thought it would be cool to take her scooter and <laughs> And maneuver my way through the nightclub, and they weren't having it. They, they stopped his ass. They stopped me really quick. <laughs> my least favorite part of the trip is going to be leaving. That's every trip vacation has to come to an end, and it's always sad. But there's always another vacation. There's always next time. <laughs> Estoy triste. Mm. How's your Fanta? Good. I got a Fanta and what else did I get? You got a Coke Zero. Because I wanted them to give us an apple drink, but what happened? Did I have it? They were out of apple. Apple juice. Mm. We're going to get some ice cream cones, I think, or some type of dessert after. And it's really cool here, they have a little window, like a drive through in, white walk-up window. But just for ice cream. Just for ice cream. You think you're gonna go over there and get a burger? You're not. No. You think you're gonna go over there and get some fries? You're nope. not. You think you're, go ahead. You really think you're gonna go over there and get a soda? Again, you're not. What were we gonna say 20 what? Yeah, it's open 24 hours. Mm -hmm. How's well, the weather been here for you since you've been here? It's been perfect. Man, same. Not too humid. It gets a little humid because my hair gets really greasy really quickly. They were saying, uh, he was saying that next month is when it's really gonna start getting humid. So. Who said that? Uh, uh, producer Apple, Josh. Producer Josh. So in June, that's when the heat wave comes in. So I guess we came at the right time. The last year was a little bit too cool, wasn't it? I don't remember. Because I remember there's some pictures of me in my coat. Which oh, isn't surprising. Right. I always wear my coat anyway. You're right. The Uber Eats here, they generally ride on little motorbikes. Pretty What's that? Motorbikes? What's uh? Oh, that's my burger. Oh, your burger. We gotta try that one? Not yet. Let's try it. Should I take a bite? So this is just like a double cheeseburger, but with bacon. It's pretty much the same thing. And it's got a sesame seed bun though. And tocino, <laughs> bacon, ready? You wanna take a bite? Or how do you wanna do this? Yeah, that's fine, I'll take a bite. Let's take a bite and then I'll take a bite. Oh, the heck was that? Mm. One, re mm. One reason I'm not a fan of bacon also, it's salty. It's greasy too. Mm -hmm. This one though is it. I want to know what this is called. I believe it's called a cheddar bacon double cheeseburger. 
we fought for it. Cheddar barbecue, something mm. like that, bacon. I hope that that music isn't coming through. We were supposed to go hang out with the guy that works over at that restaurant today, but we didn't. We slept in. And he said, he sent me a message that said, come on, baby. <laughs> nice, nice man. I want to say that the people that are from here, the locals, they're all very nice. Everybody's been nice. Because right now there's some... I was carrying my food out when the guy got the door for me, right? And I said, thank you. He said, um, the pleasure's all mine. Oh. And I was like, he didn't have to reply. That was like extra. How do you say that in Spanish? Um, I don't recall. But I know that's what he said. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know? I always thought when you're going past someone, you want to say... Excuse me, you go, perdóname. Con permiso. Well, he told me con permiso. Mm. What does perdóname mean? I'm sorry, like, forgive me. Please forgive me. So if you knock somebody down, mm. you should say, perdóname. Mm -hmm. I got a piece of bacon up here. If I was Crystal, I would just pick it. But since I'm not Crystal, I'd have a little bit more manners. Mm. Damn. My price got too close to quit, but what do you expect? The eating outside. Mm. Well, not only that, but we're like going slower than we normally would. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wave. Love looking at people. Mmm. More dogs. Hey, look at that one. It's That's a, a pig. pig. That ain't no dog. Oh God, we're sitting here what? eating bacon. I'll tell you what. Look, huh? there's a pig on a I'll leash. Tell you what? That ain't no dog. <laughs> That's well. Can I see? Lo puedo ver? ¿Cómo se? A ver. Oh my God. Buche. <laughs> What are they gonna do with that pig when it weighs 500 pounds? You know, tell him. <laughs> I'm almost done, are you? I'm pretty full, to be honest. We gotta get a cono, though. What's wrong? I don't know, just the fact that I'm eating bacon and, like you said, yeah. you know, disturbing. I like to pretend I'm not eating animals when I'm eating animals. There we go. Oh, you're fine. It's facing this way. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. You got scared. I am. <laughs> Let's try the Coke Zero. Producer, producer Apple would have tackled him. This is my TV photo op right in front of the McDonald's. <laughs> Oh, that's good. How was your Fanta? It tastes like Fanta, right? Yeah, it tastes like Diet Fanta. I will give the uh, McDonald's here in PB uh, 10 out of 10 stars. I'll give it an 8. Highly recommend. And if you're going to say, oh, you should be eating local food, what well, we have, okay? Mm -hmm. We wanted to eat McDonald's. We've eaten so many tacos, quesadillas, sopas, tortas. I made two batches of Mexican rice. One was good. The second one was questionable. Too many tomatoes. But apparently it's a process that you have to learn. And it's us. It's the science for me. The water ratio with the rice. But and her rice didn't come out soggy. And my rice still comes out soggy. So, so boom. So you did a good job. So boom. <laughs> oh. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. Helado? Oh, I'm ready. Give me that un cono. Un cono sencillo. Y me gustaría un McFlurry con Oreo. Por favor. Sería algo más. All right. I got a single cone. 
I gotta start before. That's only knows. fifteen pesos. How much was yours? I'm not sure. Forty-five pesos, I think. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. They have. They had these little. Um, they had McFlurries with those Hostess cupcakes chopped up in it. Mmm. Well. I should have got that. It looks like he added too much Oreo, no? Oh, there you go. That's you gotta mix it. Well, they put it on the top, but I don't think he mixed it. Mmm. This is a fun summer treat. Mmm. That guy's in line again, the bike guy. Damn, you want another one? He's ready for the next level. Se te cayó. Se te cayó. Oh, well, that's he dropped why. it. He dropped it. Oh. Oh, you know what's different? They put chocolate sauce in here too. Syrup? Mm-hmm. It's different. This is. I, I like the cone down here. The cone head tastes mm -hmm. like. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It just a very, it tastes like um, what's that cereal called with the uh, tiger? Possibly. They're great. That's what this tastes like. Frosted flakes. Frosted flakes. I would say that the chocolate syrup is throwing me off. Do you want to taste it? Sure. You want me just to give it to you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, too chocolatey. This, it's like a fudge. Too chocolatey. He dropped his cone. I kept saying conio. Conio. And you said it's not conio. It's conio. Not a bad word. Producer Josh says that if you put a tilde over it, it becomes a different word. Yeah. <laughs> Well, overall, I mean, I enjoyed myself on this trip. A lot of walking, a lot of moving around, and it's coming to an end. Oh, stop. But great memories were made, and there's always next year. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Try this part. The cone? The, with the crust. The cone, yeah. Mm. I wonder how many cones that guy sells a day. Oh, I want to say about 300 maybe. He's more. probably sold 30 while we sat here. You know what? I'm going to ask him. We'll both take a guess. I want to say a thousand a day. Mm -hmm. What about you? Most of a thousand. Look who asked him. Your mic is hooked up. Technology. Pregunta. Oh. <laughs> Pregunta. Como cuantos conos piensas que haces al día? Más de 500? Y cada caja viene cuánto? Okay, but they, 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 he must meet it, so that's a minus. Okay, we were right. Shit about a thousand a night. Really? Dang. I think I got one peso for everyone who told you you have a thousand pesos by the night. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Go. You throw the cone away? It, it cracked the hmm. bottom part. Those guys are spinning around over there. I haven't seen them the whole time I've been here. Oh. Yeah. The last time I, I missed them, they were. I missed them falling. Yeah, that music.
it came on. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Harry checking out. And Libby checking out. See you next year. Adios.